Good morning, plumbers. If you don't know, we do everyday plumbing, the good, the bad, and the ugly. All while training my two sons, the plumbing trade. Gonna be a long journey, but well worth it because we all know plumbing ain't going nowhere. And for today's plumbing adventure, we have a home at the start of heat season that has no heat. Hydronic heat, boilers, hot water heat, call what you want. We're here to check it out. We'll see you inside. All right, folks, we're coming in. Little beginning of heat season, turn on. When we turn the heat on, which is two zone valves, honey wells, which open up and fired right up. And then this pipe is air bound because it hasn't been purged. You hear that? This is trapped. Comes off the feed, goes across goes down. They should have an automatic vent there. Circular release. We have a circular on a 45 which I don't think that's in the instructions. And I'm looking for the expansion tank which I don't see. Oh. Another expansion tank hanging upside down. This one is made a mist or made a mist over here with the T in conjunction with expansion tank right side up because we keep learning every day it's already up to 100 I shut the boiler off but we're on 20 psi so we definitely have good water here so let me get on this purge over here or first so I gotta make some room here so Hear it? And we actually have a bypass here, which I'm not going to use. I guess I could. Oh. Hold on. That's not the bypass. There's a bypass. That's the backflow and the actual connection over here. So now we're bleeding out. First floor baseboard. See now you can feel it feels warm. All the water's gone through. So we definitely got water. Been here. She would have an air scoop, which I don't see. This would be a perfect spot for an air scoop. 
so air scoop 67 up top check that yeah and they'll put the expansion to this little blast from the, the here side oh boom all right so turn the fast pull off up here. Where's the lever? It's in the back. I can't see it. Push and hook. Open up that zone now. And shut this off. And boom. We're purging the second floor now. The air out. Now, all that noise is air. All crackling. Feel the air coming out, put the hose right in a bucket, the air bubbles don't lie. Okay? The crackling is air. A lot of air in this sugar.
there so pros out there you know that crack on his air so but it's starting to sound really good I didn't put this boiler in, but I sure did put my sticker on it last summer. Sounds good. Let's shut down the auto fill. Fast forward. Shut that off. Open this ball valve here. Over here on the hook. This thing here because it will run constantly if it's in manual. Let's turn the heat back on. This is my favorite shot right here, folks. Huh? It's calling for heat. Damper's now opening. The zone valve opened. Everything's happening at once. I hear a lot of air still. Sats are calling. Let's make sure they're coming back hot. And then we'll call it a day. PSI is on 20, maybe 18, and the temperature is, we're going to call that 80 degrees. See, but that's your little peephole for the gauge. Definitely going to have to install a air scoop in that system because the heat main comes up across the heater and back down on the supply. Perfect place for the air scoop. It's going to get airbound again. 
definitely a problem. With that, what do we got? And there goes another satisfied customer. See you at the next one, folks. Have a great day.